हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट नाइन ऑफ गूगल मैप्स एपीआई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू गेट डायरेक्शंस एंड शो राउट्स यूजिंग गूगल मैप्स एपीआई एंड आल्सो हाउ टू ऐड राउट स्टाइल बिटवीन मल्टीपल प्लेसेस लाइक योर बिटवीन योर सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट इज व्हाट इज गूगल मैप्स राउट्स हाउ टू चेंज इट्स कॉलर स्टाइल सो राउट बिटवीन द मल्टीपल प्लेसेस दैट इज सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन and multiple platform support that is how it looks like in your desktop and how it looks like in your mobile view as i have implemented the bootstrap in google maps uh, application so so guys before going through this part 9 please visit my part 8 that is what are the travel modes in direction in google maps and how to perform this uh, uh, travel modes using dot net and bootstrap so uh, first of all guys I'll, ch i'll show you that i can change the color of google maps route google map route uh, from the default color to blue and uh, here i have added two uh, drop downs i'll show you in the code uh, where each drop down contain multiple cities of united states uh, so thus we select the cities and accordingly the google route will be changed automatically with the specified color so guys there is i'll uh, jump to my code so code is this is my application that is satya google map bootstrap mbc so this solution i have used in my all the videos here so you'll get the basic of how to create the mbc application and how to use the google maps api in your mbc application so in this home controller i have added one uh, method action called route caller and based on the route color i have uh, created one view that is route color dot css html so guys here this is the code i'll so i'll be uh, define uh, step by step here okay so here what i have done is uh, i'll show you one by one so in this in this uh, code i have added that is two drop downs one is for source other one is for destination so here if you just scroll down so here you, you, i have no, I, you can notice i have one panel id here is the source it is source for uh, this on change event it will be uh, called to the uh, calc route method and this is the source destination source part where i have added the U us united states of america locations the same for destinations and here for destination drop down it also on change event this call the calc route method and there is the destination uh, places as well here so this this lines is defines for divide panel is for source and destinations places of united states of america and it call all calc route method on the board the while we change our drop down and it will be on change event will be fired okay so next is to show the route between source and destination it will it, it has called the calc route right calc route method so if i'll show you that method the implementation so this is the method implementation part that is function calc route method okay so this method is used to get the route between the source and destinations okay so he here he here is there is start and end and it has the get the element id it is nothing but the source uh drop down id and this is the destination drop down id <coughs> okay and here using the request this is assigned to the origin and the end part is assigned to the destinations and this is the travel mode i have set it as driving okay and uh, there is the direction service while while it will be performed for getting the routes between the two Uh, places that is source and destinations as for your uh, selection from through dr to drop down selections list okay <coughs> so this is about uh, the uh, calc route method and there is the event uh, dom listener there is the load file and it will be initialized so initialize is nothing but it it has the call map method what you have already in, uh, used in your uh, this one is for call back right in your script api google maps api okay so here uh, i have specified the color of route manually instead of uh, default color by google 
so where i have defined it i have defined it using the function initialize okay so using that method okay uh, i have used the color of blue okay and there is i have used using the property called polyline op options <coughs> so it is assigned inside the direction display so it displays the variable and direction service which call the direction service of google maps api and it is assigned to this color inside the direction display okay and here you, you notice one thing maps options as i already have discussed these things all my all my videos it is common to all my videos that is map option is zoom i have set it as 7 map type id is a road map okay and center by default when the uh, map will be lowering it will be showing as the latitude as the this one line i set it as the longitude okay so this latitude longitude is nothing but the city for chicago in united united states of america or usa so that will be loading first time when the google map will be loaded when our application will be loaded first time okay and i have assigned this document element id of map canvas to the map and i will be set it as the this value inside the direction display dot set map method okay so this is all about the initialize method and, uh, and next is uh, here i have uh, implementing my google maps api key in inside the script tag okay and uh, i have also mentioned the function name in google maps api key link that is uh, i'll show you here that is the callback in initialize the same method i have implementing here right here the initialize method so so in this code this is the most important methods i have discussed this is the function initialize which i have implemented in my google maps api for initialize where the it will be set as a blue, blue uh, route color route style and the other function name is calculation route it will be used for well while you have select the places from to drop down list from source and destination accordingly the route will be display and it will be route will be shown in the google map page okay and it will be the load and initialize i have uh, called this initialize also inside the r dom listener okay guys so this is all about the code and here i've added the footer section and uh, here the three scripts bootstrap for supporting the bootstrap and uh, for bootstrap js and for bootstrap css for multi-platform support or that is page responsive design okay so this is all about my code i uh, just uh, scroll one scroll by it will be easy for you to uh, refer so this is all about the code uh, so i'm just scroll down a little bit okay and yeah that's all about the code uh, in this uh, in this session so guys after then what i'll do is i need to run my application so before running my application i just show you one screenshot what i have taken so this is the output uh, file I, i'll run my application and that is the header satyaprakash google map route style using mbc and bootstrap and this is the source drop down of the destination drop down based on selection it is uh, these two places as from uh, United States. So the United States, uh, it's showing and you're just getting that is the source is using the <coughs> A, that is the green and the B is the destination is the red. So this is the route style, what I have uh, used the blue color, right? Set it in the blue color in my code. This is the showing here. So this is, I have already taken the screenshot. So also I can show up while I run my application. So I will run my application here. So guys here you can see my output okay so here you can see my source part well it contains the some cities in of united states of america and destination there is the cities of united states of america so while you select these cities based on cities it will be so the route style between source and destinations okay so what what i i will do here is uh, also i'll show you using the mobile view how it is showing like this so using mobile view just right click on it go to inspect element 
okay and inspect element so here you just click on uh, yeah if you just click on it that is toggle device toolbar <coughs> and here I just come here side okay yeah so see this is the how it looks like in supporting the um, multi-platform support I have implemented the bootstrap so based on device it will be resize the screen so this is the screen on iPhone SE and for iPhone 14 Pro Max it's shown like this and for iPad Air it will be the it will be the display of the interface and same way is for uh, iPad Pro this is the output okay and for I will check for other things iPhone SE this is for iPhone SE okay so uh, this is all about my application and how it looks like in uh, desktop and uh, in mobile view let's check the output how it performs so guys here you can see this is the desktop mode okay and here two uh, source and destinations i have selected the destination and you can see the route between the two places that is the source and destinations using the route style is using the uh, blue mark right so in this way uh, we can check between two places how route style and also b uh, there is a different route between the two places based on the places right the because the distance between the two places um, should be different so based on that between two places the some there is some shorter directions or there is some longer directions and the same thing is the route style it is configured of whatever the blue uh, color so between the two places this color is showing as a blue okay so what you can see is this is the uh, you know uh, the desktop view so let's I'll check for mobile view so guys here is the mobile view okay so the same uh, I'll uh, describe here that is I have selected from source and destinations here and based on source de destination there is source is showing as uh, green and the uh, destination is showing as the uh, red that is A for source and B for destination symbol and also if you ha hover your mouse on this uh, it will show the place name that is city name uh, for source and destinations so uh, for the route style you are so you are seeing is it is uh, on the blue color because I have configured that route style from default Google map color to our blue color so you can customize the color as well okay guys <coughs> So let's uh, go to my presentation so guys in this way we can configure uh, route style and we can get directions and show routes between two places that is from source and destination and also we can configure or customize the route style color from default Google map to our own color so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day